Montreux, it's always been a beautiful, mysterious town. I grew up in a small town, 20 minutes west of Detroit, and I've been a resident of Midtown Detroit for about two years. It's about 10 minutes from campus. It's 10 minutes from downtown. I bike everywhere in the summer. I love it. CCS being in the heart of the city, it's a perfect spot. You're in the middle of everything. It's a community. People respect each other for who you are. For a career, I think it's, there's no better place. Your instructors have been doing what you want to do for 20 years, and it's, it's really motivating. A lot of the instructors challenge me to do something different. I think that's good because to be a photographer today, you have to be very well-rounded and do a variety of things. Throughout high school, I really had the assumption I was going to be an architect. I kind of came to terms with reality thinking that well, I'm probably going to be drafting for the big architect. So I kind of went to my second love, which is photography. I basically got interested in photography at the age of 12. I started researching about Detroit on the internet and started kind of coming down here doing snapshots with a you know, cheap little camera. The buildings in the city really inspired me. I just came out last year with a book called Lost Detroit, which chronicles 12 different buildings. Uh, giving a history from when they open to their abandoned state. These are architectural wonders that once they're gone, they're gone. And maybe now is the time that we should take notice and do something before it's too late. To me, it's no question to document these buildings is really what I feel like I was born to do. 